Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, the Associate Minister at Unity San Diego. It's a wonderfully beautiful sunny day here in San Diego, and I'm trusting that the weather is calming down in other parts of the country. People are able to, you know, now get out of their homes and function. I'm so, so grateful for that. What, what a, I remember living back in Evanston, Illinois, right next to Chicago uh, in grade school. And I remember the snow coming up to here, which probably now since I'm four foot 10 would have come up to here on me now. But I remember those days of being snowed in and those days of, of the pipes freezing and, uh, you know, like scrambling for loaves of bread to make sure there's enough food to eat. Um, and it's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. So I'm so happy that people that I know in Texas that, you know, they're have water now, they're able to get out of their homes. Back in Evanston and Chicago, the snow's not so high. So I'm really, really happy for that. And so I um, just wanna bless everybody and know that all of you are in our prayers. All, all these circumstances are in our prayers. And so today our daily word is about healing. And I'm going to type in the chat bar the affirmation I've chosen for today, which is I turn to God for health and healing. I turn to God for help and healing. And that's really turning to the God of our understanding, the God that resonates with us. Now, you might not use the name God for God. You might call God dude, like I do when I'm in that personal relationship. You might call God Abba, Father, some other name, Mother, well, you know, whatever resonates with you, because your relationship with the God of your understanding is a personal relationship. Just like we all call our grandma something else, you know, and my uh, granddaughter, Alex, I'm her nana, but her grandmother on her dad's side is grandma, you know, and one of my granddaughters calls me Yaya. So, you know, it's, um, we, they all have their names of, uh, we all have our names of feeling and to the God of our understanding, because our relationship is so personal. So I invite you today, since Unity was based on healing, and the healing, of course, of Myrtle Fillmore, to just take a moment to think about healing. Now, I looked at the Daily Word today, with February 23rd, and I also, as I always do, go back to a Daily Word somewhere closer to the time of Myrtle. So I typed healing in Google, and first thing that came up was Monday, December 20th of 1937, quite some time ago. Let's see if you can notice some of the differences in these daily words. I'm not going to read all of them, but I'm going to well, paraphr well, I'm going to paraphrase the one for today. Today that says, my healing prayers encompass my body and mind. My healing prayers encompass my body and mind. That's the affirmation for today. The affirmation for Monday, December 20th, 1937 is, I turn to God for help and, and find that he, but that was then, that God heals me readily and thoroughly. I turn to God for health and, he, for health and find that God heals me readily and thoroughly. And to me, this tells us that we need to go within to the God of our understanding, but we also have our part to do. So we go within, we know that God is our source of healing. God is our source of health, of energy. Everything comes from God within. But then we also have to express the God of our understanding in our own way. So not only do we turn within, we, our prayers encompass our mind and our body. Daily Word for today talks about the necessity of taking care of ourselves when we feel under the weather, of resting, of eating nutritious food, and of asking others to pray for us. The Daily Word from 1937 talks about if you need health, turn from all belief in disease and recognize the presence of power of God within you and the presence of power of your own health. So both of these scriptures are both of these daily words are calling us to a deeper expression, to know that we are spiritual beings having the spiritual having a human experience. So we do need to take care of our human body by rest, by healing, by having compassion for ourselves, 
But because we are spiritual beings, we also need to realize the healing comes from within. Healing comes from the God of our understanding. And that as we focus on, that's what we'll bring into our experience. I love how these two complement each other because it helps us to live in this human body and then go deeper within in our spiritual being. Daily Word today talks about facing any of our healing needs with love and compassion for ourselves. If we have feelings, that we need to feel those feelings. We need to look at them. We need to pull them out. We need to face them. We need to love them. And then if they're error thinking or things that don't serve us, we can let them go. And it also encourages us to ask for support from having from friends, family, and others. And that is so, so, so important to have that support group, that group of friends, that group of those that share your beliefs, that share your feelings, to have a group to go to. It's important. It's important in our emotional health in our physical health, in our spiritual health, to have a group of friends, family, that we can turn to. So important. Then it's also important, as it states in the 1937 Daily Word of December 20th, that we exchange our belief in disease for a belief in health. And that we give the same thought to health that we may have been giving to disease. It says unhealthy persons are in a state of unhealthy in mind. They think thoughts of disease, and then that's outpictured. So if we worry, if we focus, if we, oh, my God, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this, odds are we will. I remember one time uh, when Eliana, who's now eight, we had just barely uh, gotten her uh, custody of her, and I had a little porter crib. And on the wall, I had this big tin sun that we had gotten from Mexico. And it was on the wall in my front room. And I kept going and th thinking, I better move that crib or I better take that thing off the wall because if I don't move that porta crib, it's going to fall and it's going to hit her. And I kept thinking it, thinking it, thinking it. And one day I pulled the crib a little forward and the doggone thing fell off the wall. I had actually manifested that to happen. So friends, we can manifest good to happen in our lives and we can also manifest weird other things to happen as well. Because what we focus on, if we truly believe this, will happen. Now, does this mean we'll never get sick? Our bodies won't die? Of course not. Because we are temporary here. We have a human temporary existence. But our spirit within is permanent. And it goes on forever. And it is always healthy and whole. And the closer in the, that we get to the God of our understanding and the presence and the power, allowing that to be acting active in our lives, the more easy, the more calm, and the more centered this human experience is for each and every one of us. So the scripture from today, February 23rd, Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. The scripture from December 20th, 1937, also from the book of Matthew, Matthew 13 and 15, lest happily they should understand with their heart and I should heal them. So friends, think often of your health. Bless your body. Bless your legs. I used to regret having such short legs at four foot 10, most everybody is taller than me. You know, by the time they're 10, 11, 12 years old, I'm looking up at a lot of people. I used to think and pray when I didn't know any better that my legs would grow, that I would, you know, be taller than everyone else or just be at least five feet. But, you know, I began to start th thinking, thanking my legs. Thank you, legs, for working. Thank you, feet, for holding me up. And it never didn't become so important anymore how long they were. But it became important and I became grateful that they worked for me. 
I could tell you stories into stories of, of health, of things that have happened to me personally, of there was uh, a time I was taking a study and the study was uh, to see if those with asthma could use the CPAP machine. So I had to have a couple of uh, x-rays. One of the x-rays showed that my heart, my heart valve was off. I didn't really have asthma. It was just one of my heart valves that was actually feeding into the other. I took that at UCSD. Independent of that, I took the study at Kaiser, which also showed the same thing. Upon prayer, meditation, and really going deep within, I finally had a special test. My sister, who's a doctor, came down to have this test with me. That was my first clue that this was something serious. I was healed. It was gone. It was not there. So the power of prayer for works, the power of going within, the power of looking at things healthily, of focusing on health, of having our support group pray with and for us, and for us praying for ourselves. The importance of eating well, taking care of ourselves, resting, so important, but knowing that we can heal ourselves. And that as we focus and we depend and let go to the God of our understanding, that all truly is well. Let's take a moment then to just listen. For some reason, this is telling me I've been on here for 31 minutes. I hope not. Let's take a moment just to pray. And just to go into the silence for a little bit and to meditate on our health. Let go. Let's breathe again. Just let go. This is our time of meditation, friends. And when we gather together into this space, we know that we are in a sacred space. We are in the sacred space of knowing, the sacred space of loving, this sacred space of connecting with the God of our understanding. And so I invite you to take this time to set aside anything you're holding in your hands, in your heart, in your consciousness, and silently allow the words that you speak to become the words of your heart. Sometimes I just don't feel good. I just don't feel good. My body hurts. I ache. Oh, I just don't, don't know what to do. I feel just plain yucky. At times like these, it's important. It's important to take the time to rest, to relax, to eat right, to listen to what our body is telling us. Do we need to go to bed early? Do we need to take a spa day or an extra day? Do we need to just eat properly? It's also important to go within, to go within and focus on our health, to focus on the God of our understanding as the provider of health, as the source of our well-being, to give thought to healing, to wholeness, and to thank our body for working for us. And so as we take this time to focus, on our bodies, the health of our physical bodies, and then the health of our spiritual beings. I invite you to focus on our affirmation for today. I turn to God for health and healing. I turn to God for health and healing in the silence.
I am. I am perfect and whole as I experience this human experience. And as I take care and love my body by eating right, by resting, by caring for things I need to care for in that my body needs, by listening to what my body says, and by knowing that all my health and wholeness comes within from the God of my understanding. And as I care for my bodies, I'm thanking and showing appreciation and love for this human body that I have. And I, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for wholeness, for health, and for allowing us to experience this human time and allowing us to have the ability and the knowingness to rest and relax in our inner space of you. And as we express our health, our love, our understanding, and our joy into our outer world, we say thank you. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. I invite your friends to just wiggle out. Take a moment. Take a breath. Open your eyes as you feel moved. Knowing that it's okay to rest. It's okay to take the time to go to bed early, to eat well to ask others to pray for us. And it's certainly okay to go within and to trust in the God of our understanding to heal us in extraordinary ways. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.